Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make simple, reusable water balloons. These are great because they have a sponge inside and it's fleece. Fleece is really strong, but it can hold a lot of water. The sponge holds a lot of water. Um, my kids immediately played with these after I made them. You just have buckets of water. They put it in, squeeze out the air, and it's filled with water, and they threw it at each other. Honestly, they were soaked in a couple of minutes because these hold so much water. I made about 40, and they are the perfect fun summer activity. I love that they can reuse them over and over again. Once they get dirty, I throw them in the wash, and um, they can be used again. These can use up scraps of fleece. I love that I don't have to go pick up small pieces of broken balloons all over my lawn anytime they play this. So let's get started. So I have these sponges. These are like art sponges, but we are going to use them to make the homemade water balloons that are reusable. I also have a bunch of different fleece fabric I decided to use fleece because it's um, really plush so it can hold more water. You want these watered balloons to hold a lot of water when you throw them and um, fleece is really sturdy so when it's smashed on the ground or rubbed on sidewalk because my kids are going to be playing with these outside, um, the fleece will be able to hold up to the wear and tear of being outside. So the first thing that you need to do is, so see how this sponge is, it's this size, this circle, but when you look at it on the side, it's about an inch tall. So you are gonna need a fair amount of seam allowance to um, get to the side. And when I sew mine, I want mine to be really, really easy to sew. So the way I'm gonna cut my circles is, I want them really big. So when I put the sponge here, this can come up halfway here. If I put this like this, so the side is going to meet in the middle like this and then you can't sew right next to this line but I'm going to do a zigzag stitch that's going to go all the way around. I am going to have a little bit of extra, you know, it's going to be kind of floppy here on the side that um, it's going to be extra, but it will just hold water and it makes it easier to sew if I'm not worried about getting it right next to that um, The edge right next to that sponge I put my fleece down And I'm going to put this on and I'm going to this sponge is about three inches wide and one inch tall so I'm going to make my circle five inches in diameter So I'm just kind of guessing I'm making a circle but I'm not making it very perfect because once you sew it it's going to get wet and be thrown around so some of this So to see this circle, it's a little big, but I would rather have it be a little too big than a little too small. I'm going to cut um, all of this fleece into a bunch of circles so that I have lots of circles to cover all of my sponges. Thank <laughs> you. 
great thing about this project is that you can use up all your small pieces of fleece to make these circles. Once you have all of your fleece circles cut out, you are going to sew them together. So you take your sponge, you try to find the wrong side of your fleece and you put the sponge in the middle. Then you're going to put your other circle on top and have the wrong side facing the sponge. Once you have these two circles together, you can clip the edges all the way around. Now you can use a zigzag stitch and a sewing machine and sew all the way around or you can use a serger and go around the edge. Either one works, um, it's up to you and your preference. I find the serger is slightly faster than the zigzag stitch but they are both great stitches that will be strong and will make um, good reusable water balloons. So you can see here's the two water balloons. This one was done with a zigzag stitch all the way around and this one was done with a serger. Um, as I was sewing all of these I found the serger to be a little bit faster but they both work really well and they're both circles so they kind of look like balloons but really they're kind of like big sponges. And that's how you make a reusable water balloon. I love that they're so fast to make and they're so fun for my kids to play with and they can use them over and over and over again. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day.